What is up guys, Jake from One Hive here with our next recap video. I uh, hope you guys are having a great Saturday. I am, uh, woke up late, had my coffee, and now getting to make you guys uh, a video with some awesome attacks in it. So what more could you ask for? Uh, this war was, was interesting. Uh, we didn't think much of it when we got the matchup, just against an Asian clan. And uh, pretty early on they surprised us. I mean, they were bringing some good attacks. Look right here at the top. Uh, two of our Town Hall 10s, three starred. Uh, actually, three. J Mass is a Town Hall 10. Um, it, it really surprised us because they their Town Hall 10s were good. Uh, not to say that the rest of their clan wasn't, but uh, their Town Hall 9s were what uh, where we outpaced them. Um, they weren't really able to three stall our, our Town Hall 9s, you know, across the board or, or any of their Town Hall 9s. Really, they had a few, but not many could three star uh, our Town Hall 9s, and obviously we were able to get theirs. So that was the difference, but a much closer war than we normally have, so it was fun. It was a little bit exciting, you know, people were really uh, keyed up about, about their attacks. Obviously, on my live attack, you guys could probably tell I was, I was wanting to get that three star. Uh, so a fun war, you know, so props to those guys. I don't know how to say their name or anything, but respect to them. Uh, a good clan for sure. So let's look at some of these good attacks that we're talking about. I'm not going to show any of the Town Hall 10 just because there was no three stars. Uh, we had a couple that got close, but nothing uh, nothing came of it. So we'll just watch some Town Hall 9s. Uh, start with Shu, taking on their number 8. A uh, really cool attack here, just a, uh, a hog attack. And this is a bad bad bomb placement by this guy. So Shu really did a good job taking advantage of it. Just dropped a few giants. Uh, for for tanking purposes, then dropped those hogs, and then right there on that side triggered both giant bombs and got the clan castle there. So a beautiful deployment there. Uh, then just brings them over here to the left side. Obviously the bombs are the same. This is a symmetrical base. Uh, so just drops his kill squad, goes ahead and puts his his golem down, and that was smart in that position because they were so crowded. Look how how bunched up everything was. They would have got to his witches had he not put that down for distraction. Now yes, the golem did take a lot of damage, but it had to be done. Uh, right there you see both bombs get triggered, Golem works his way in, jump spell goes down, and as soon as they get a little closer here, uh, the queen's going to lock on and that king's going in. He's going to take her out and immediately uh, she is sending in his hog. So great, great deployment all around at the start of this raid. Uh, everything just was, was done right. Uh, starts dropping heals, just keeping his hogs alive, working their way through the base. Obviously all the bombs are triggered, uh, nothing to worry about there, just has to keep them going forward. Uh, and keep a heal on them, and this is just going to be over pretty quickly. Uh, you see the Go golem still doing some tanking, so that's nice. It's already busted into golemites, but it's tanking for that for that expo and for the uh, wizard tower over there. So just a great a great attack, and really a a, a nice three star that was never uh, it wasn't even close really. I mean he he wrecked that base, so good job shoot. We'll fast forward as they got a lot of cleanup to do, but he's got the troops for it. Uh, he uh, queen still up, got some hogs still up, a few archers, uh, so no problem there. So good job, man. All right, the next one, let's see, what do we want to look at? Let's look at D, what I, I call D, uh, taking on number 11. Let's see here, number 11. Uh, just sort of a, a holo, you know, not, not like a, not taking out double giant bomb spots, but just good traits. Uh, brought six loons, I believe, maybe it's more than that, six or seven, and got four defenses and the clan castle lure for that. So that's a, a wonderful swap uh, to get to get all those defenses down and get the CC lured out for that many balloons. Uh, if you ever have that opportunity, obviously take it. Uh, then you can see this this base is it's interesting to attack because this base you can see that where the giant bombs are go down there uh, between the archer towers and the in the air defenses. That's the only place that makes sense. So he's not doing a normal hog attack, how we do it, where you send the kill squad in, you want to trigger those bombs. He is just doing it based off of deployment of his hogs. So really nice there. Uh, the, the golem's coming in from the top side, coming down to take the queen out from that direction. Not not ever going to get to a giant bomb, not ever going to trigger it. He's just going to use, here's how you send your hogs in when you know where the bombs are, uh, and understand pathing to get them taken out. Uh, jump spell goes down. Uh, the king does wrap around because he did not create his funnel quick enough, so that's a little uh, a mistake there, but the queen, uh, the, his queen gets in there and takes care of it. Now here come the hogs. Again, look at how the angle, the angle he sent them at, there's no way those hogs are going to come in from the side and trigger bombs two at a time. They're going to trigger the first one right there, boom, the heel's down. Now the bomb goes off, the hogs are healed back up, they trigger the second one. And even on the second, I'm sorry, I misspoke earlier, the second set of bombs is in the core, but now they're because of the angle they're coming at right there, same thing. They're, the deployment was perfect. 
Uh, the way he sent his hogs in could not have been improved on in any form or fashion. It was beautiful. Uh, this was a cleanup attack. He knew where everything was. Uh, I actually hit this base, and this is the one I ran out of time on. So it was a, it was all there for him, and uh, D just just wrecked it. I mean, it was, it was the absolute correct way to do this base, and it was a beautiful attack to watch. Uh, when you when you understand hog pathing and you know where the bombs are, you can make them trigger them one at a time, and that's just as good as pre-triggering them or them not being there. Because if you've got to heal over them, your hogs are going to be fine. So really nice attack, D. All right, moving along. Number 12. Let's watch Tate take out number 12. This was a sweet attack, too. A little bit different base, you know, uneven, not symmetrical or anything like that. And uh, Tate just go hose it. Uh, you know, go ho wee wee. Uh, got a how to guide how to do it, and Tate does a, a great job of it. This, this, this group of hogs here was beautiful. He used a group of hogs and, and a heal, so it's a big investment. Before that investment, he took out, I believe, two defenses, triggered a giant bomb, and got the CC lure. I'm sorry, only got two defenses. That's right. Uh, so, Perfect, you know, perfect trade. Now this guy only has one gi double giant bomb set left, and he's going to try to get to that with his kill squad here. Uh, two set uh, golems going in, uh, witches, wizards, all the normal kill squad stuff. Uh, going to take all that out, handle the CC troops, and make their way into the base to take out that queen. Uh, he's got a uh, was it? Did he bring up? Where's his other spell? Oh yeah, he brought all heal spells. So just wall breakers uh, working his way in there. The queen does jump the wall. He knew she would. The king's locked on right there. Goes down. As soon as the king locked onto that queen, hogs were sent in. Uh, he had a bigger investment in the in the kill squad, but that's it, it was a planned. I mean, he remember when we did the Goho Wee Wee video? We drew that line across the base of what they're responsible for. He brought what he needed to kill the queen, get the double giant bomb set triggered, and then what's left over, he brought hogs. So it was, it was a beautiful attack uh, and a nice job not bringing any spells for the kill squad. No jump spell, no rages. Uh, all his heals, all his spells were heals for the hogs and still got the job done. So really, really good attack. Uh, you'll see that they're about to cross over this last bomb here, and he's got the heal waiting on him. So no, not losing any hogs to those bombs uh, and just working their way through the base. You see the kill squad is still up. you got wizards up. Uh, which is the queen, everything's still working, so that's awesome. Uh, when you've got that much uh, kill squad left, you know you've got a three-star on your hands. So good job, Tate. Uh, let's check out one more. Uh, let's go. I had a request to show a, a, some lower-level Town Hall 9 attacks. And remember, guys, the strategies don't change. Uh, if your troops are a little lower, your heroes are a little lower, the techniques, the strategies are all the same. They work the same. You just pick a little lower base with not as tough of defenses, not as high-level uh, of heroes so that's what we're going to look at here kt uh taking out he's a, a newer town hall nine you'll see his his hero levels there are pretty new uh does have max level troops but so should so should you uh if you if it's what you're going to do and you're going to be a war focus on getting those troops up uh first and then you can do these attacks as well uh just coming in on this base love these balloons here drops these balloons and look at the trays getting taking out three defenses and getting the clan castle or i believe he only brought three balloons maybe four uh, three or four balloons for three defenses and, and the CC lure. Just beautiful. I mean, good planning. Um, this guy had poor uh, air coverage down there, and KT took advantage of it. So then brings him up top, drops his kill squad, witches, wizards, all the normal stuff there. Pretty boring. Uh, but takes out the CC, and then is just going to start his uh, his golem attack. He's got like a uh, – a lot of people call it a, a – this is a go-ho, actually a go-ho. Some people say it's just a hog attack with a queen, but when you bring more than one golem, you bring those extra wizards, extra witches, uh, you are actually doing a go-ho wee wee. So we saw several of those this war and done very well. So I'm glad the guys have got that down. Uh, just sending the heroes in to back up the kill squad, uh, working their way down through the base. And again, that line that you would draw across the base would be right about the, the wizard towers. That's the responsibility of, of his kill squad. So you got to know how much to bring. Uh, KT obviously does because they get the job done. Uh, and then right here, he's about to send his hogs in. Oops, sorry about that. Getting a pop up there. Uh, about to send the hogs in because the, the kill squad has reached that point where he wanted them to get to. Uh, so here they come, left side. You notice there's no double bomb spots in this base. So really, any, any attack that you do on this base should incorporate some hogs. With no double bomb spots, bring a few heals for them. Even six, eight, ten hogs can do a lot of damage to this base if they avoid the spring traps. Uh, working their way around. Again, you see his kill squad still working up there. Queen's still shooting him. Uh, Hogs are taking out the last few defenses. And just a, a really nice go-ho uh, by KT. And again, guys, the techniques are the same. If you're a lower Town Hall 9, you can do these. You don't have to have, you know, level 25 heroes and, and all max troops. Just 
pick a lower base and, and, and be you know precise with your deployment, with your spell placement, with your plan, and you can do these things too. So uh, whoever was asking for that, here you go. A little bit lower, Town Hall 9, uh, getting the three-star. Good job, KT. All right, guys, that's it for the uh, video today. Hope you are having a great weekend. I am going to come out with at least one more video for you guys today. I like to load you guys up on the weekend so you've got plenty to watch. Uh, until next time, Jake from One Hive reminding you guys to suck less.